before all that was reclaimed and when, and when these were proper wetlands. You know, we it's almost like a religious thing. You know, there like is when that. When you're talking about the, the <coughs> tribal thing earlier, <coughs> thinking of Aboriginal, <coughs> you know, the other, maybe think of Aboriginal <coughs> storytelling and the fact that that has to be, you know, you have to be there, you have to be in a particular place and it's, you know, tied in to the landscape. But, and I think this idea of you know, channeling the spirit of the great writers is almost like a sort of religious mm. thing that is kind of tied into the way we teach mm. and think about literature that is, makes you a better person, that it, mm. you know, is great literature, is going to elevate you to some kind of higher sphere. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's bunkum, mm. but Roland it's, there's still, you know, it's in a, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. kind of, <laughs> you can't, entirely get away from it no matter how much you analyze it you still get the thrill and the buzz from yeah, that can't be taken away yeah you know that's that's the flip side of the bar argument isn't it so but yeah it's fun yeah and people will keep coming keep doing it yeah that's the thing about ritual and tradition isn't it mm. yeah. that it's actually it's mm. binding mm. it helps bind communities together mm. in ways that are non-rational you know, you look at I agree with all that, except that obviously I felt like that we passed local people who actually live here who are completely oblivious mm, to what, yeah. what we're talking about mm. here. And they yeah. just use that, this yeah. path for dog walking and that one for cycling, yeah. and that's it. But again, we've come on a kind of pilgrimage. Yeah, that's we? right. We're, but for local community, there's no, it's, it's not even... Well, I haven't been to Robert Louis Stevenson's mm. house. house. I haven't even been to Mary Shirley's grave, and I've been in Bournemouth for 16 yeah. I've sat in the pub opposite. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a kind of pilgrimage. Which is called yeah. the Mary Shelley. <laughs> yeah. But somehow, because I know it's there and it's permanent, I just haven't yeah. literally mm. bothered. Mm. And I, I mean, I'm, you know, I'd be very interested if it was anywhere else. It'd be the first place I'd go to. Yeah, yeah. Because it's in the town because you're right, yeah. where I live. So that's an issue in itself, yeah. isn't it? About cause Sorry. No, no, that's, that's the point, isn't it? Is that yeah. because if you're local, you don't commune with it in quite the way we've talked about. Well, I think generally people don't. And I was going to say, I mean, the thing that I've been thinking mm. about with, say, you know, the stuff that came up with the Papua New Guinea thing is, it's to me, it's about it's about how you enact. And that's why I, th I think this idea of reading in the place is really interesting, mm. and, or, or recording voices and then playing them as you walk or coming mm. to this bridge and playing them because mm. it's something there's something really interesting about listening to even a recording of poetry and I loved it when we did mm. it over by the crows mm. I mean that was just wonderful it's yeah. like this is sort of that's a poetry of its own and the two are sort of mm. you know they're in syncopation to a degree yeah mm. and there's something really lovely and I think what makes this a magical day is it's this constant we're remaking Hardy mm. Yeah. for ourselves it's not a similarity, is it? it's and it's not contrast. something you do every day and it's actually not done every day by the people who live here but you can bet there are people here who, who once or you know every generation yeah. there'll be a handful of them yeah. who remake hardy because they're they have some awareness yeah and you've done that to some extent haven't you both i, mean, I have i mean i'm not from here no, so I'm, I, so you've lived quite a while now, haven't you? Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. That's what not even that, toes um, under the table down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talk about yeah. it's uh, being familiar, I think it's defamiliarisation that kind of... I, for mm. me, it's technology. Mm. Yeah. So if I can see Mary Shelley's grave through Google Earth or something, mm. it kind of reignites yeah. my interest mm. in yeah. it, despite the fact that it's on my doorstep and I can wander around it. Oh, that's that's so interesting. I think that adds a layer of magic. Lens, I've, I've been wanting to draw a diagram that I draw for my first year students sometimes. 